Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Charmaine. I go by Miss Charmcy on YouTube. So as many of you already know, I did cut my hair recently and I'm going through a transition of getting my curls popping again because I did have a little bit of damage before I got my color fixed. And so right now, I think it might be interesting to do a series of videos. Well, you guys let me know if you like this idea. A series of videos trying out different styling techniques for my hair to see what kind of works best. So a lot of you asked me to film a video styling my short hair and typically what I would do is just a regular wash and go and um, probably a co-wash situation and come on here and show you the results. But I thought let me start this out by doing something totally different that I've tried before and just see what the results are and you're actually looking at the results here and I'm, I'm pretty happy. So what I decided to do is start off by showing you my hair from waking up. So I start off with a beautiful bonnet look, satin bonnet that you know a lot of you may be very jealous about right now. Don't worry, you can you can just go to your local beauty supply, I think I got it at Target, and get yourself one as well. Now the second thing that you may be jealous about is my little struggle pineapple. I think it's probably more like a pom-pom than a pineapple. There isn't a whole lot of volume and height happening because my hair is shorter, but I just want you guys to see exactly what happens. So with my texture, I cannot sleep on my hair and expect to have curls the next day. My hair stretches out and especially now that it's shorter, it's just even more like this. So even when my hair was longer, if I did the pineapple to sleep, I would most likely have to co-wash my hair to get my curls popping. I didn't really get much more than maybe two two days of curls. Um, otherwise it kind of it gets like kind of straight and poofy looking. And sometimes I will rock that look and I like that look many times I like more of the curls to show. Now with my hair being shorter and on the red side, if I don't have the curls popping, there are times where I think I possibly maybe look a little bit like a cartoon or Annie or you know like Wilma or Annie. It's kind of, it's between the two. Some days I like it. Some days I feel like I need to walk around singing a theme song. <laughs> But on the days that I want to look a little bit more polished and put together, this is what we're going to do. So I am going to start by refreshing my curls. This is something I very rarely do outside of the shower. So my refresh is just going in the shower. But for this video, we're going to do, I'm going to just spray it with this spray bottle. And if you're a curly girl and you do not own one of these spray bottles, you need to get one. I think it's called a Flarisol, a Flarisol. Ooh, I could be wrong. And then I'm also going to use a brush that I highly recommend as well for detangling. I typically like to use it in the shower. And this is by celebrity hairstylist Felicia Leatherhead. And I actually got to meet her in person at Essence Fest and she was the nicest, so incredibly nice. So nice to my son as well that she got to meet. Um, so anyways, I'll put her Instagram down below. You can check her out and see where you can purchase those amazing brushes as well. Um, I do use it on my son's hair as well. The product line is called Curlsmith. I have featured them before on my Instagram. I love their products, so I found out that they have two new products, and I wanted to try this one specifically because it is a moisture reactivator. So I figured, again, rather than going and washing my whole head, I'm going to try and reactivate the curls using this. So right off the bat when I tried it, I realized that it is not super heavy. So that was a good sign because I can't use things that are too heavy on my hair. Um, but whenever I'm unsure and I'm trying a new product, I always make sure that I'm using it on damp hair because it, then it will at least make sure that the product's not going to be too heavy because it's kind of doused in water a little bit. But I have to say now that I have tried this and know what it feels like, I think I can ease off the, the water slightly because it's not super heavy. Then I just saturate my whole head with this and then do the typical scrunching method. Now, I'm gonna do something I hardly ever do and I think this may be a little bit of a game changer now that I have this cut going on. I am diffusing my hair. I know, I know, I know. If you follow me for a while, you know I, I kinda hate doing it. I think it's 
the most boring thing in life to have to sit there and go, mm, like, I hate doing it. And I don't even have a lot of hair. So the, for you guys out there that have a lot of hair and you commit to diffusing your hair, <laughs> bravo. I hate it. But anyways, now that I know what can happen with the diffuser with the shorter hair, I think I might do it more often. So my diffuser, my hair dryer is not fancy at all. It was probably $20. I think I picked it because of the color being cute. It's by Conair, got it at Target, nothing fancy. And then it just has the diffuser nozzle. You wanna have a diffuser nozzle. That way you can avoid the frizz. I always have to say this as a disclaimer, I don't hate frizz, but I like the frizz to come in after the curls have formed, if you know what I mean. Because it's summer, I want to rock this hair sometimes without it having to, you know, start off as being like a wet dog for six hours. I'm going to dry it so that I have some hair already popping in the morning before I step out. And I'll diffuse my hair off camera because it's incredibly boring. And basically, I just hold it to my head in different spots. I don't have a lot of hair to cup inside the diffuser, so I'm just basically putting it all around my head like a normal person would, right? And then when I get to about halfway mark, I'm gonna add some Weed At Heat and Humidity Gel. This is one of my staple items, hands down, one of my favorite curl products ever. I absolutely love it and I recommend it to anybody out there. Try it, it's lightweight, but you will have some hold, no crunch. If you do have a crunch, you probably put too much. So try not to put as much if you get some crunch and try it again. Or you can always scrunch to get rid of the crunch. Hey, you didn't know I was a rapper, did you? Surprise. If you're like me and you go outside and you turn into a fluff ball and you get no definition at all, oh my gosh, I can't stop rapping y'all. <laughs> Try this product. Guys, that's it. This is the result. What do you guys think? Let me know below. Are you looking forward to see? Okay, at times I have to admit, at times I think I look maybe like I'm wearing a helmet but like a retro funky cool cute helmet I don't know let me know what you think below and if you want to see more of these videos I'm getting annoying right also guys I picked up some flexi rods and I want to see what happens with them in my hair I hope I have enough to actually roll them in but let me know if you have any product suggestions to go with flexi rods for my hair type Leave it below if you do, and let me know if you want me to try that video. Even if it ends up being a fail, maybe we could try it together. Then we'll know that it, it doesn't work for me if it doesn't. I never really use flexi rods, but I was thinking I could just put in the flexi rods and brush it out and have like a wavy look. I don't know. Let me know what you think below. Thank you for watching this video as usual, and I will see you next Sunday. Bye, guys.